Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Unknown Graphics here. Another quick tutorial. Um, this is a follow-up tutorial to the one I just did, which was showing you how to use blending modes and um, uh, the Gaussian blur to blend text into an image to make it look like it's part of it. Remember, you can do this with text, another image, a picture, uh, pretty much anything, a brush even make. So you have a brush that's maybe like, I don't know, a picture or something, and you can incorporate that into the background. So let's get started. The um, picture I'm using today is this one, because I said I was going to show you how to use that technique in a more complex way, and this is going to be using the perspective tool to make it look like it's flush to the wall, like it's written on the wall. And what's key to remember is everything that's closer is bigger, everything that's farther is smaller. Alright, so just remember that. The color we're going to get here is a nice hot pink text. Uh, it doesn't really matter the font, I'll just use whatever's on here. Alright, let's do our text. Uh, Why not Barbie? Alright. Go ahead and rasterize this. Alright. Make this just a tad bit bigger. Not too much, that's good. If uh if your picture, the image you're working on, uh has a lot of depth, uh, by what I mean what I mean by that is that things are really, really small in the distance, then you probably wanna not make it too big or else you're gonna have it going way down there and if you only want it in a certain spot resizing that's gonna look kinda weird so um yeah you wanna try to keep it small what you're gonna do now is hit control T and just rotate this this takes you in a free transform you're gonna just wanna do it just a little bit not too much alright so uh, right about there is good now you're gonna right click and hit perspective now like I said, everything that's closer is bigger, everything that's farther is smaller, so you just want to do either the bottom or the top, and make it so that the front is bigger, right about there, about the size you want it. If it doesn't look perfect, like it's on the wall perfectly, that's alright, because all we're going to do to the back side to fix that, the right side is make that smaller. So that looks good about there. As you can see, it looks like it's got some depth to it. And then I'm just going to rotate this a little bit more. Okay, so there, that looks pretty good. But it doesn't look like it's part of the image. So for the sake of this tutorial, just so this pops even more, I'm going to go to Image, Adjustment, Black and White. Set it to grayscale. Alright, so that'll make that pop just a little bit more click back on this layer and we go to filter blur Gaussian blur about 1.5 alright hit OK and then set the blending mode to overlay so there you go um now you can see that it looks like it's written on there with um like it's actually painted on to give it more of a spray paint effect what you can always do is just um, set the blending mode back to normal and give this kind of a outer glow so go outer glow and you want to use the same color so you can just do that and then make the size just a little bit bigger than the image not too much set this to overlay okay then set the blending mode on the image to overlay there you go that's probably a little overboard but you can see how it has the little feathering along the edges and um... that's kind of what you want turn the size down just a bit alright there we go see now that looks a little bit better you can read it so yeah that's it for today guys don't forget to subscribe uh, download the toolbar, check out all the 
links down in the description. So, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.